Hello fellow trailmakers and welcome to another video. This is a tutorial, the second one, on logic. In the last tutorial I explained each of these logic blocks and now we're going to do some simple circuits. So I've got my test bed set up here. We've got just an anchor pin to the ground and we're going to be manipulating this steering hinge. So we're starting off with a logic loop. We are going to first ignore these two and just use these two. So the way I personally do logic loops is you set two gates to toggle or as many as you need for the different positions and then you just figure out the delay and the duration of each and then pause is the total amount added together. So for example this one is going to go first, it's going to have no delay and it's going to have a duration of one, uh, 0 0.5 and the pause is going to be 0 0.5. This one however is going to have a delay of 0 0.5 and an opposite input uh, and they both need to be connected into that hinge and then a duration of 0 0.5 and a pause, uh, pause of 0 0.5. So when we spawn this in and hit one, it'll toggle back and forth with those 0 0.5 durations, and it'll just go like that. Now, let's add some more gates. This time, we're going to change the pause to 1.5, because there are now uh, two more gates on, so we need to add that extra s uh, second of delay. So duration of all of them is going to be 0 0.5, and pause on all of them is going to be 1.5. I'm actually just going to copy this one like so. And the delay on this one is going to be 0 0.51, 1.5. And the delay on this one is going to be 1. So now it should... We can do this... Now it should go back and forth for all four, and it should toggle all of them. I did something wrong, and I know what it is. This one needs to be a negative output. Let's try that again. As you can see, it goes back and forth infinitely. I would suggest making most or all of your logic systems on a testbed like this before putting them into your creation, because... Oh, that's a weird visual glitch. Um, <clears throat> because... It makes it easier for the um, to, to just slide all the logic in and also easier to troubleshoot. So next thing is the NOR NOT gate. You connect an always on input, which I'm going to use an altitude sensor with an altitude of negative 500, an X OR gate, which I'm going to put right here in the middle, and the altitude sensor goes into the X OR gate, but an OR gate with an input is going to also go into that XOR gate, and the XOR gate is going to go onto the steering hinge. Now what this does is it's always going to trigger that steering hinge until I hit the key, which triggers it, which disables it. So that's the simple XOR gate. Uh, and what happens is it's always on because there's one input going through the XOR gate, but as soon as you add that second input with that OR gate, it turns off. Next, NAND and XNOR gate. Connect an AND or XOR gate to a NOT gate and take the input from the NOT gate. So for example, instead of this OR gate having the input, we would put an AND gate and the AND gate is going to go like this into here. This OR gate is going to go into the AND gate with a keybind and the AND gate is also going to have a keybind of 1. And so now, when I hit 1, it triggers both of the... You can see it triggers both of the AND gate inputs and disables the hinge. Next, we have a... Sorry. Next, we have a pulse generator, which is very, very simple. You just take an OR gate, and give it duration. So I'm going to give it a 0 0.5 duration. And now when I hit this button, it 
it triggers it for a certain amount of time and I can set that duration to anything I want. Now we're going to pull back that version with the NAND gate, delete the AND gate, put this back in here. And now we're going to make a falling edge detector. So you could connect a NOT gate to a pulse generator. So what I'm going to do here is get a OR gate going into here, an XOR gate going into here, and this is going to be a pulse of 0 0.5. So now, when I hit the button, interesting, I think I forgot to disable it from the, yep, hold it. So now it is always off until I hit it, and then as soon as this trigger is on and then off, it pulses once. And finally, we have a latch. A latch uses an OR gate. Uh, you activate the toggle on an OR gate. So I'm going to remove all keybinds from this gate and trigger toggle. And we're going to use this pulse generator to go into it and to go like this and this. And now when I hit the button, it will toggle, but only send out a pulse from that first one. And hold it for as long as I want, and it is only going to trigger a pulse. So there's our simple logic circuits. I hope this helped. Happy trail making, and I will see you next time.